Thanks, voters all across South Florida heading to the polls today. Residents will be deciding on key races that will have a big impact on local communities. And we have Trent Kelly joining us live in Miami with more on this election day. Yeah, JC, this is an off year election, which typically means we see pretty low voter turnout compared to other years. But make no mistake here, the results of this election will still have a very big impact, especially here on the local level with several mayoral races and an open congressional seat all on the ballot. Voters across South Florida heading to the polls today in an off year election that will decide key races in both Broward and Miami Dade counties. Among them is the race for the District 20 U.S. congressional seat, once held by longtime Congressman Alcee Hastings, who died earlier this year. Residents in Broward and Palm Beach counties today will decide which Democrat and Republican will square off in January's special election to fill his open seat. Also on the ballot are several key mayoral races with residents in Miami Beach, Hialeah, Sunny Isles Beach and Homestead electing their next mayors. Miami Mayor Francis Suarez also up for re-election with voters set to decide whether he should serve another four-year term. Meanwhile, in Miami Beach, voters there will also have a say on a controversial non-binding straw ballot question asking if the last call for alcohol should be rolled back to 2 a.m. And we do know that Miami Mayor Francis Suarez will be casting his ballot right here at this particular polling site in Coconut Grove later this morning. In addition to those local mayoral races, there are also several key commission seats up for grabs as well in several South Florida cities. For more on those races, you can scan the QR, QR code on your screen right now, and that will take you right to the results section of our website. Polls, by the way, will be open today from 7 in the morning until 7 at night. For now, that's the latest live from Miami. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.